What is up and welcome to the Ice Cave. Today I'm going to show you how to capture 4K60 with an Elgato capture card. Now, this process will work for any Elgato capture card. It doesn't matter which one you use. The process will be the same, but if you use the Elgato 4K60 Pro, you're of course going to get the 4K capture and you can record up to 60 frames per second. All right, and before we start the video, of course, as always, please be sure to smash the like button to help that YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more content from the Ice Cave. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. Let's get started. Number one, the first thing you're wanting to do is disable HDCP. If you don't do this, whenever you connect the capture card to your PS5, you are not going to get a signal. It's going to block it. The chain isn't going to work. So you're going to want to go into settings. You're going to go down the system and then hdmi here you're going to disable enable hdcp so that it doesn't cause any issues for your stream once you've disabled that the next thing if you, this is a new capture card and you haven't used it before you're going to want to go to elgato's website and download the 4k capture utility go to their website download it and then run the application once it's ran you should be able to open it you'll see your capture most likely if the capture card is being identified if it's not i'll show you how to do that once you have the program open you're going to go up to the right hand corner you're going to click on the settings icon and then you're going to go over to device once you're at device you're then going to ensure that the capture device is selected to the 4k 60 pro if this isn't selected go ahead and select it now and save after you save it, you can, of course, go in and configure the recording settings. If you were going to upload the file to YouTube, say you wanted to record the video and the audio and even your own microphone to the 4K capture utility, you could configure that under the recording tab. You can specify where you want the recordings to go. You can specify the bit rate and, of course, the resolution. That's where you would do it if you just want to record that as well. Now, that can be recorded at the same time as you're performing the stream so if you want to capture them separately you can do that for the purposes of saving your videos step four you're going to want to go into streamlabs we're going to use streamlabs as the example here you're going to go to your sources and click the plus button once you've done that you're going to click add a new source and name it i named it the 4k pro once you've done that you should see the game capture 4k 60 pro device showing up and you're going to want to select that and then save the file or save the source now once the source is saved you may notice with the capture in Streamlabs that the picture perhaps isn't uh quite as vivid as it should be and that's going to be due to the hdr if you have hdr enabled and you're using an hdr monitor you want to get the best resolution and the most vivid colors then you're going to use hdr but that's going to cause issues with your stream so while you're streaming you're going to want to disable that because most likely it doesn't support hdr so go ahead and disable that once it's disabled your capture will pick it back up and you'll be able to start streaming within the utility and of course from here all you have to do is add your overlays and you're good to go so guys that is how you add the 4k 60 pro or your elgato stream card into Streamlabs. i hope this video was informative for you as always thank you for joining me in the ice cave if you enjoyed the video please be sure to smash the like button and again subscribe for more content stay frosty iceman signing off